Hey, what's up? It's Darren Rose here yeah. at the original thrift shop, Goodwill in Los Feliz. We're gonna do a roll call, Carly. What's up, Carly P. Block from Kiss FM, and I'm here with one of our winners, Ashley. <laughs> and of course, Macklemore. Ryan Lewis. And our 98.7 winner, John. These 15 minutes. 15 minutes. 20 bucks in our pocket, run around the store, see what we can come up with, and then we're meeting back here to see who's got what. hanging with Macklemore, Ryan Lewis, and Wands. Where else would we be doing this interview than at the Goodwill? And uh, first of all, guys, congratulations on the success of the heist. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. And I love, it's, uh, I mean, there's so much to get into. You've put it out independently. Um, it's an incredibly autobiographical record. You know, probably one of the most honest lyrically I've, I've album I've listened to in a long time. When did you first learn to rhyme? Oh, it took a while because I first started and, you know, I was probably 14 years old um, and I was horrible. I would go to like the back of the source and they used to have this thing called hip hop quotables. I think they still have it okay. where like they take like people's verses and I would like cut and paste people's verses like other rappers and put my own together, like kind of hodgepodge verses together. And uh, that's kind of how I started was just completely biting other rappers. Did you have someone that taught you, though, like a mentor or did you just pick it up on your own? Um. I think I just kind of picked it up. Like my friends started doing it. You know, everyone kind of started like freestyling around the same time, 14 years old. So it just kind of came after that. Listening to your album is almost like reading like your autobiography because it's each each song is almost a different chapter. Uh, song Jimmy Iovine, pretty much how it went down. Uh, Jimmy Iovine is just a fictional song. It's um. You know, we met with a ton of major labels, and I kind of took all of those experiences and put them into one song. I've actually never met Jimmy Iovine. I'm sure Jimmy's a good dude. But, um, you know, it was kind of chronicling, like, our experience meeting with majors, realize, thinking, like, this is what I've always wanted. I've always wanted to be under a major label. That's the epitome of success. That's the epitome of the music industry. And in 2012, realizing that it's kind of not. Yeah. And, and everything that they have to offer isn't necessarily the best thing for us. Yeah. Uh, last track I want to go over is Same Love, which has been a uh, kind of a battle cry, I guess, a little bit for you know, gay rights, gay marriage. Yeah, Same Love was a track that I'd, I'd wanted to write for a long time. I didn't know the perspective, um, how to hit the concepts of just kind of homophobia and hip hop, about gay marriage, about gay rights, about equality, about human rights. And I started writing it from the perspective of a gay bullied kid because that's kind of what prompted this song was reading about this 13 year old kid that committed suicide because he was bullied in school. And I read this article, started writing from the perspective of that kid, went to the studio, spit it for Ryan. And Ryan was like, you know what, this is just isn't quite right. I think that you have a story here. You know, I grew up in the Catholic church. I grew up in the hip hop community, two communities that are stereotypically a little bit closed minded to the gay community. And I also grew up in Capitol Hill and have two gay uncles and a gay godfather and was surrounded by gay people growing up. So I have kind of this juxtaposition, two, two sides, very polar opposite sides. And I just try to be as honest and open as possible. Uh, I feel like I could talk to you guys forever, but I know you got a lot to do. This album, I don't say this if I wouldn't mean it, one of my favorites of the year. Everybody's got to go out and pick it up. Uh, incredibly uh, just honest and, and, and well produced and... Everything that you got going on is uh, is we're all excited about. So thank you very much for coming out today, guys. Thank you, man. Thanks, for Thanks man. Appreciate it. It's been an intense competition. Okay. Going all day. Oh, 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 oh. There will be no swaying. Oh. There will be no swaying of the judge. Let's get everybody so, in So this is a little, uh, a little too normal. Yeah. I don't know if I'm feeling. I'm not. You know, you could have real muscles. Yeah. This is a professional. I save him for last. <laughs> Now this, 
That's pretty dope. This is the come up of the day. Yeah. I think that Did I think I she's win? really close. No, I, I have not Did made I my decision. Win? You can't sway the judges are you, either. Are you cold, Doc? No. So, no. See, <laughs> I, don't, I don't ride the bus with you, so I don't need to stay warm. So, so between this and that, this or that, this. I'm gonna have to go with that. Yeah! 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 The winner. Bam! <laughs> All right. Well, that was awesome. Thanks, you guys. Attention, all thrifty shoppers. You better pop your tags. You've got forty dollars in your pocket. Keep hunting, looking for that come up. This is King Awesome. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha.